Greetings viewers. I hope you have enjoyed the entertainment. For those of you that think you have been unfairly mentioned. Well, tough shit. Here are some tips to stay out of a video. Tip number one. When you feel like having sex while on duty, with a co-worker or district partner, don't. Tip number two. When you get fucked up, and think it will be funny to call 911 and make a prank call that will cause an entire police department to risk their lives running code and then risk the lives of innocent citizens, don't. Tip number three. When you get fucked up and an outside agency asks you to leave the area and go home, just go home. Tip number four. When you want to have an affair with someone that is not your wife, especially someone that works for a city executive, don't be surprised when she is also fucking around on you. So, don't stalk her or use police equipment and police resources to conduct surveillance on her. Just go back to screwing a barista. Tip number five. When you feel like poking a coworker, think again. She will most likely end up being your supervisor. And by the time she is your supervisor, you find out that she is either a closet lesbian or has gained so much weight that she looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Tip number six. If a coworker offers you a blow job, think twice. No, don't even think about it. Don't do it. Tip number seven. If a coworker agrees to have sex with you and your wife, and at the same time, remember that this decision is one of those ideas that sounded good at the time, but actually was not. Tip number eight. If you were offered sex at a party by someone that is not your wife, and your wife is at the party too, don't get into a closet with her. This is also one of those ideas that sound good at first, but are a bad idea. Tip number nine. If you end up in a hot tub with co-workers, and alcohol is involved, accept the fact that there will be acts that happen that are unnatural and forever scarring. So, if you do not now avoid hot tubs, you should. Tip number 10. If you have an idea that everyone tells you is stupid, like a jail inmate customer satisfaction survey, just accept the fact that you have a stupid idea. Just go back to doing nothing. Tip number 11. If you are attracted to someone that happens to be the suspect in a homicide investigation, don't fuck him. I mean literally, don't fuck him. And if you do, for heaven's sake, don't tell him that he is the subject of a homicide investigation. Tip number 12. If you want to be promoted, learn to do the job you were hired for. If you are lazy, incompetent, or unprofessional, don't put in for the test. Be lucky you have a job. Tip number 13. If you are not a law enforcement officer, don't pretend to be. If you get pulled over while off duty, and you are fucked up, don't hand over your driver's license with a business card taped to the back of it, especially if you are a jailer, I mean a corrections officer, and not a police officer. Tip number 14. If you having an affair, which means you are married and you are having sex with someone else, don't do it with the prosecutor of the only case you have. And don't do it in your car and in the parking lot of the business you were hired to protect. And don't deny it after getting caught red-handed. Man up and take your medicine. Tip number 15. Instead of hanging out at the station or wherever your office may be, or taking naps in your hiding spots, get off your ass and do your job. Tip number 16. When a department member wants to fix what is broken in the department, don't fuck with that person by relentlessly looking for him, or giving indirect warnings and threats. Instead, consider that there are problems that need to be addressed. And lastly, get a sense of humor. I mean seriously, get a sense of humor. If you poke your perky penis and pretty Penelope at a party, please don't pretend that it's not pretty perturbing to your profession and shows your personality. Don't be a pussy because it's not pretty.